rolling, check. Come and stay on the highway. Coming up, we talk to Raptors sharpshooter Del Curry and his family about his lengthy NBA career, being drafted into two different pro sports leagues, and his reputation as a team prankster. If you wore this sweatsuit into the locker room, you would be the joke for about two days. Welcome to another edition of Off the Hardwood. I'm your host, Paul Jones, and today we sit down with the Curry clan, all of them. We're all here. All here. And before I get going or I say anything, I'm going to ask them to introduce themselves. And we'll, maybe we'll start, go from youngest to eldest. Yeah, okay. Sidel. <laughs> Stefan. Seth. Sonia. And I'm Dale. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if that's the way it works in terms of youngest to eldest with the adults too. How did the two of you meet? <laughs> we met in college way back when, about uh, 16 years ago at Virginia Tech. And uh, it was all over. She chased me all over campus. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, is that the truth, Sonia? Do we Absolutely have the truth there? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. Actually, um, Dell's coach at the time, an assistant coach, uh, had scouted me out for him and did some little matchmaking and uh, I invited him or he invited himself to one of my volleyball games and the rest is history. Okay, well, with the whole clan here, let's talk about uh, moving around the good old US of A and eventually up to Canada. Five different stops around the NBA in 15 years mm -hmm. and two different countries. Uh, likes, dislikes, what's been Let's leave Toronto out of this for now because I don't want to bias the answer, but what's been the best place that you've been to? Well, I, I like, I think I uh, went from one of the, some of the toughest cities to, to one of the best where I'm now. I started in Utah, which is a different different place where back in 86, it was definitely a different place for a guy right out of uh, college. Then I went to Cleveland, played for Coach Wilkins for a year. Uh, then we had the expansion draft, and I was the first pick of the Charlotte Hornets where I stayed for 10 years. And that was really a blessing. I was uh, close to home, my family members, four hours away. Uh, so I stayed there for 10 years and, and had a lot of fun. Sonia, with, with three children, um, and I know a mom's work is never done, <laughs> how difficult has it been moving, going from place to place, from Cleveland to Charlotte, out in Utah? How difficult has it been for you? Actually, I think because we were so young when it happened, uh, I actually spent probably about two or three months in Utah with Dell his second year before he got traded to Cleveland. So um, that was an experience for me because one night he's there and he gets a call at home. We're sitting there in the evening. Next thing you know, he's heading off the next morning to uh, from Utah to Cleveland. And I'm going, what about me? <laughs> so uh, that was, I learned quickly uh, the how things operate um, on this level. So. From there, um, going to Cleveland, I was pregnant with Stefan at the time, and he was born actually in uh, Akron, Ohio. Uh, and then it, at the, he was born in March, and then in the spring we moved uh, home because he got traded to uh, picked up uh, by Charlotte. So um, for me, it's just been packing up and going. Um, it really hasn't been that much of a, of an issue for us at all. Well, well, how much do you have to support Dell when? I, I know it's not easy being traded because part of it is somebody doesn't want you, but the other part is somebody wants you really badly. Sonia, how do you support Dell with something like that? Actually, one of the things with Dell and going to places that he's going has truly been wanting him to be happy. Uh, Dell looks at more than just money. He also looks at the coaches that he's going to have, uh, the players that he's going to join. And so uh, I just support him in that. If he's going to be happy, we pack up and go um, along with him. And uh, I try to take care of the home and children and find in school so that, um, one, he's not, he doesn't have to spend that much energy or time worrying about that. Uh, Steph, you're the oldest one. Uh, how do you handle getting up and moving? Uh, your latest move when your dad left Milwaukee and, and came to Toronto, how did you, how did you handle that? I liked it a lot. Um, 
When he was in Milwaukee, we didn't get to see him a lot. So um, when he came to Toronto, we um, traveled here um, often, and we got to see him probably like twice a month, and that was a lot more than we did in Milwaukee. So um, it was better. Is, is, is it hard with a family like this to, to, to pick up and go and knowing that dad is has been moved somewhere else and you live in place A, he's in place B and will be moving to C, D, E and F and might only get back once in a while. How difficult is that? Um, it's real difficult, especially when your children get to the ages that my children are now because they have their own lives. Uh, each one of them are involved in different activities, very competitive uh, activities as well. And so you not only have school schedules, you have um, special activity schedules that you have to go with and you have Dell schedules so you have to look at everyone's schedule and say when can we all go to see daddy and so um, I think that's the biggest challenge of all. Could you offer any advice either of you to somebody who's just kind of starting out in the league and it, it looks like they might become somebody like Dell who's a who's a real specialist who's wanted and coveted by a number of teams and that may have to get up and move around is there any advice that you could give them? Well, you just have to have patience and realize that that comes with uh, your job. Uh, again, I have excellent uh, family base. My wife's a very strong person, and I don't uh, feel worried at all when I have to leave home. I, I know that uh, she's able to take care of things. One of the things that we have done in the past is we have um, put off being with him when he's been moved uh, because the children were engaged in activities and everything. And if I had to do it all over again, um, I would put my family first um, because you, there's always times for activities and you can always find different places to put your children in activities and you can all also look at it from a positive aspect, aspect is that the children will be exposed to a variety of different people and lifestyles as well but uh, you lose time being together as a family and one of the reasons why we made the choice this year is because as they've gotten older um, they miss being with their father so uh, for those wives and uh, who are debating, do should I go with my husband or not go with their husband? Uh, I'm all for going uh, so that you won't ever regret not having that time together. How, how was it coming to Canada? What, when you heard you were coming, well, I mean, you made the deal in Toronto, we're going to get into that later. How was it coming to Canada? What did you think? Oh my God, we're going to another country. What did you think? <laughs> well, I, I, you know, playing for other teams uh, when Toronto was in the league, I'd been to the city before and knew it was a great city. It was just cold. <laughs> uh, and that's something that you'd have to deal with. So I was excited about coming here myself. And, and Seth, what about you? I, you know, we talked to you, your, your big brother talked about uh, being able to see your dad a lot. Uh, what did you think about when you heard you were going to another country? Uh, I don't know. I just heard, I just heard that Canada had, in Toronto had like a lot of stuff to see, like to see in town. So, so. Do you worry about making friends at all, Seth? Not really. Not really? Steph, what about you? You're older. What, do you worry about making friends and leaving your friends at other places? Well, it was hard leaving my friends, but uh, I made good friends while I was here. And um, I know it's going to we have to leave again, uh, if we do. Um, it's going to be hard to leave them, but I'll be going back to the friends I, I had before. So. Now, uh, he's not telling us something that we don't know. You're not planning on leaving here right <laughs> now, are you? <laughs> I hope not. No, I really like it here. And, you know, having my family up with me this year for the first time has really helped things out a lot. And they, they, I think they like Canada. My kids have made a great adjustment to school. Uh, like my son said, they made uh, new friends. They're on basketball club teams, uh, taking get, uh, le instrument lessons. So they're having fun. And, and what about little Miss here? What's her, what's her strength? We're going to talk mm -hmm. about these two guys in a second. What's your strength, Sadell? What do you like to do? Um, just, like, go to the sand tower and... Mm -hmm. Play with her dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, it, ha it hasn't always been basketball for Del Curry. When we come back, we're going to talk about another phase of his athletic career, which some of you may not know about. Stay with us. In the back of my mind, I knew that in four or five years, if I didn't have what it, what it took to make it in the NBA, I still had a chance to go back and, and play baseball. So it was always there, but uh, I just never needed it.